Hi everyone, I'm Neil Snape. Have you ever wondered how you can set up a default setting for each and every camera that you have? Well, it's really easy. In Lightroom, you can set up your default settings in the develop module. What I do is I apply um, the camera default profile and lens correction, um, including aberration. So I have that removed. I set the sharpening pixel radius a little bit lower than what is normally done by default. If I were to shoot a lot of uh, images in architectural or landscape, I would probably set vertical uh, upright setting and constrain. And by doing that, each time I import with this specific camera, uh, it will apply lens correction, uh, remove chromatic aberration, set the default uh, sharpening to what I want and any other settings that are normally in the develop module can be applied for that specific camera. Uh, I'll show you how to do that now. Subscribe to my channel so that I can keep you up with the latest tutorials that I post. The first thing you want to do when you're going to set up your camera default settings is you need to go into your develop module first off and you need to go to the develop menu and there's a special menu setting it's set default settings in here it will tell you what's going to happen it will give you um, the camera that's plugged in the serial number and from this any of the settings that you might apply in the develop module can be applied to the default camera settings if you update to the current settings, which are actually, in this case, they're already reset to the Adobe default standard, but they will update. If you make changes thereafter to any images, you can update those, append them to the uh, default camera settings. In this case, I'm just going to click on Restore to Adobe to set it back to, to zero, which is the uh, Adobe default. Now. When you go back to your library and you can import an image, in this case I've already imported the last one, so I'll uncheck all, check on this one, and I will import it. And you will see that this image, when you go to your default no, develop module, it has no settings applied to it other than the default Adobe corrections. What I like to do is I like to set enable profile corrections, remove chromatic aberration. I like to go to detail and set the radius to around 0.6 or 0.7. And those are all the things that I would want to set for my default for this camera. I like to set the sharpening radius smaller and I like to set uh, remove chromatic aberration and also set the lens profile whatever lens that might be um, used for making the pictures on this camera. For each camera there you can set it to a different default as soon as you plug in a different camera and it has a recorded uh, preset it will apply those to that specific camera. Once you've set these, you can go up to your develop module, set default settings, and update to current. And if we import any of the other images, for example, the next one, import, and you'll see that it will indeed have all of the settings that we recorded into the camera default for this camera which was specifically um, a smaller radius as well as an enable profile corrections remove chromatic aberration if we wanted to modify other details for the default let's say if I do a lot of architectural I might like to set a vertical upright Constrained to crop just means that you will um, enlarge the image to avoid empty pixel areas when it's um, correcting for the, uh, the lens profile. 
And let's just say that you want a little bit of clarity added to all your pictures that are coming in. This is the way you do it. Whatever changes I've set will be added to the current settings for this camera. And if I do that and press G to correctly go back to the grid module and click on import again the next image that you bring in will indeed have all the settings that you've recorded into that preset their default preset for that camera and as you can see your clarity is there this works for any um, camera that you will have and you can record different settings obviously for each different camera so if you find that you need different lens corrections um, manual lens corrections uh, manual um, color controls um, process versions you can even add uh, black and white any of the settings that you can apply in the develop module can be applied to a camera preset these are not limited to just Lightroom they are also um, applied if you bring in images through Adobe Camera Raw and that's all there is to it